Hi guys and welcome back to the Oculus YouTube channel. Today we are going to be investigating how to create a polar chart in Oculus. Polar or radar charts are a form of graph that allows a visual comparison between several quantitative or qualitative aspects of a situation. This type of chart is a great way of displaying three or more variables on a two-dimensional chart. Polar charts can help you create visually appealing and insightful dashboards. So let's have a look at a few examples. In our first example, we have a polar chart showing employee skill levels across key areas of a business. There are many different styles when using a polar chart, and in this example, we are using a line chart style. At a glance, you can easily see that Andrew is more inclined to the technical aspects of the business, whilst Sean's expertise is far, far greater towards the business, the business aspects. Lastly, Philip is well-rounded and can perform comfortably across all aspects of the business. For our second example, we will be looking at wind speed from various directions. Something like this could be very useful for a wind farm or a weather station. The example looks at average wind speed from each direction and shows where the strongest winds are coming from. This style of polar chart is known as a stacked area polar chart and we can see that our wind speed is measured on a circular axis and the graph shows that most of the high speed winds come from the southwest direction. We can also see that wind speed is typically slowest when coming from the northeast direction. This information could be used to forecast power generation on a wind farm and help you, help you identify a useful variable for a potential machine learning model. In our third example, we will look into the costs of healthcare across different countries. The example below shows a stacked bar polar chart showing the total cost of healthcare by country split by government subsidized costs and private costs. Here we can see that healthcare may be more expensive in total when living in the US, but Switzerland has a higher private cost and therefore will be will effectively be more expensive from a personal perspective. This style of chart can be applied to costs of different departments in your business and help you identify problem areas quickly and efficiently. The last example looks at rainfall across different regions over different months of the year. This specific example may be useful to an industrial farm which may need to budget for water costs However, you are not limited to rainfall, and you can essentially represent anything with seasonality in this way, such as, uh, such as sales in different provinces, or something along those lines. Okay, so now that we have uh, looked at a few examples, let's try and create our first polar chart in Oculus. Okay, so to give some context, the data we will be using for this chart is an energy breakdown of South Africa and Australia for 2019, which consists of how much energy was pr uh, produced by various sources in each country. To create a polar chart is relatively simple. First, we'd like to measure the total power uh, generated. So we can drag that over to the measure box and select sum to give us the total power. Then, since we want to see the contribution of each source, we can group by source and um, select uh, polar chart in the visualization options, which is this one. And then lastly, we can group it further by adding country to the group box, like so. And there you have it, our first polar chart created in less than a minute. As you can see, both South Africa and Australia are heavily reliant on coal as the majority of their energy is produced by it. Secondly, we can see that Australia utilizes other sources much more than South Africa and if we remove the source option um, like so, we can see that Australia produces slightly more power at 265 terawatt hours when compared to South Africa's 227 terawatt hours. Now all of this can be seen at just a glance with a simple polar chart. So let's add um, source back here and we can then look at some of the settings that you can tinker with to customize your charts. So you can see your settings by clicking on this gear icon. 
The first one is chart title, which is um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, let's name this energy energy chart. Okay, and you can see now our chart has a title um, showing at the top left here. Okay, so the next thing is color palette. Um, I am using the healthcare color palette at the moment, which is the same color palette that I used in the healthcare polar chart shown in the beginning of this video. Uh, you can change it to anything you want really, um, and you can even create your own themes by going down to settings um, in the side menu. So um, the next, uh, next option you can change is palette mode. And here we have blend, alternate, extrapolate. That's just basically how you want your colors to mix in your palette. Then chart type, we have bar, stacked bar, line, stacked line, area, and so on. Um, these, these show the different styles of polar charts that you can have. So if you remember our first example we looked at for this video, we used a line style, which looks like that. But I think for this particular chart, it might be best to keep it as a bar. Then we have some uh, settings to customize your legend. So you can show the legend or hide it. And then this is just essentially the positioning, uh, the orientation and the size. And then the last few settings uh, will be automatically filled for you. So you don't need to change these. Um, and yeah, that's essentially how to create your own polar chart. Now the next step would be to save this and add it to your dashboard. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so you can get all the latest updates regarding the Oculus application. Oculus, we empower you to make impactful decisions for positive change.